In today's class, we'll learn about problems on inverse Laplace transform using convolution theorem. The problem is using convolution theorem, obtain the inverse Laplace transform of the function 1 upon s minus 1 into s square plus 1. The solution of this problem will see now. The problem is using convolution theorem obtain the inverse Laplace transform of the function 1 upon s minus 1 into s square plus 1. So the same question you can solve by using partial fraction also but when they are stating that using convolution theorem means we need to apply convolution theorem only. So solution so we need to find inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus 1 into s square plus 1 but we are going to use convolution theorem so let we need to consider f dash of s is equal to first any one 1 upon s minus 1 I will consider and second function that is g dash of s is equal to out here 1 upon s square plus 1 and see that once we multiply f dash of s into g dash of s both the result we should get back our given question so it is ready now 1 upon s minus 1 into 1 upon s square plus 1 will get 1 upon s minus 1 into uh, s square plus 1 so using this uh, to f dash of s g dash of s now we'll find uh, inverse Laplace of this so inverse Laplace of f dash of s is equal to inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 and inverse Laplace of g dash of s is equal to inverse Laplace of 1 upon s square plus 1 so once we get these both now we need to simplify so inverse Laplace of f dash of s is nothing but f of t and inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 is nothing but e raised to a uh, it is minus 1 1 upon s minus a is e raised to a t so 1 upon s minus 1 is nothing but 1 into t that is e raised to t next and inverse Laplace of g dash of s is nothing but g of t is equal to inverse Laplace of 1 upon s square plus you consider this 1 as 1 square so 1 upon s square minus a square is nothing but sine of a t a value is 1 so 1 into t is t divided by 1 that is 1 sine t so we got uh, f, f of t we got it and uh, g of t we got it but as per the theorem we need to change this t in terms of t and t minus u so therefore so I will change here so here uh, f of t I will make it as f of u means t will be replaced by u so it will become e raised to u and second one g of t will become out here t minus u so this will become sine of t minus u so we got uh, the terms or functions of our integral from the convolution theorem so we have convolution theorem so which is nothing but inverse Laplace of f of t into sorry f dash I will take f dash of s into g dash of s is equal to integration u from 0 to u is equal to t 
f of u into g of t minus u into du so this is the function so which is nothing but so here laplace inverse of f dash of s is nothing but 1 upon s minus 1 g dash of s nothing but 1 upon s square plus 1 and here integration u from 0 to t f of u so f of u is e raised to u and g of t minus u is nothing but sine of t minus u into du so once we get this then we can integrate now but this is of the form one of the standard formula so e raised to a t into sine of b t formula this is so that formula is nothing but integration of we know this one so integration of e raised to a x into sine of b x plus c into d x is equal to this is one of the standard formula which one already you have seen regularly so e raised to a x divided by a square plus b square into a into sine of b x plus c minus b into cos of b x plus c so this is one of the very important formula if e and any trigonometric sine or cos comes we need to apply this one of the standard formula here so i will repeat once again here so e raised integration of e raised to ax is nothing but sine of bx plus c dx is nothing but e raised to ax upon a square plus b square so this b is nothing but whatever coefficient of x in with what here sine so sine of bx plus c so this b is the coefficient of x here so that we need to apply and a value is nothing but e to the power what is coefficient of x is there that is nothing but the value of a so using these two we need to simplify so if you compare here the coefficient of u is nothing but uh, the value of uh, a and coefficient of t is nothing but what here value of uh, sorry coefficient of u is uh, here in terms of sine the coefficient of u is nothing but the coefficient of uh, value of b here now we'll see now so if you compare the value of a is nothing but the coefficient of u in e raised to uh, whatever is there e raised to u coefficient of u is 1 so therefore a value is 1 and here uh, value of b is nothing but coefficient of u coefficient of u uh, in term in sign is what here minus 1 so we'll use this and apply here so therefore inverse laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 s square plus 1 is nothing but integration so already we are applying the integration e raised to u divided by a square the value is uh, 1 square value of b is minus 1 square into bracket e raised to uh, sorry a into a value is 1 1 into sine of 1 into sine of b b value is how much here minus 1 so we are uh, so this is we are uh, integrating with respect to x means here we are integrating with respect to u so what happens here so o, o, 1 times sine of t minus u minus the value of b is minus 1 cos of t minus u so limit from what here 0 to t so therefore on simplification so 1 into sine uh, of t minus u is uh, sine t minus u and uh, minus minus will become plus so it will become uh, plus cos of t minus u I will, uh, which I will write it as inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 s square plus 1 
is equal to e raised to u upon 2 into sine of t minus u plus cos of t minus u to limit from 0 to t. So u will be replaced by 0 to t. So now we will apply upper and lower limit for this. So keeping the constants. So therefore, so before applying, so I will go for one more simplification here, which is nothing but 1 by 2 I will keep outside. This e raised to u, you multiply for both. So it will become e raised to u sine of t minus u plus e raised to u into cos of t minus u. So 0 to t. So u will be replaced by okay 0. Now we will apply upper and lower limit. So 1 by 2 is out. So on applying the upper limit replace u by t as upper limit. So it will become just see if you apply upper limit. Uh, e raised to t sine of t minus t u will be replaced by t so t minus t is nothing but 0 sine 0 is 0 so first term will vanish I will write uh, 0 plus if you apply t uh, t is equal to uh, u is equal to t so t minus t is 0 cos of 0 is 1 1 into e raised to t hope you understood here upper limit minus lower limit if you replace uh, u as 0 e raised to 0 is 1 sine of t minus 0 so it will become sine t plus e, uh, e raised to 0 u is 0 means e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 cos of t minus 0 it, uh, so you will get t minus 0 is nothing but t so cos of t so upper and lower limit is we have uh, means we have applied here so therefore on final simplification so inverse Laplace of 1 upon s minus 1 s square plus 1 is equal to so 1 by 2 will keep outside so from this we will get e raised to t minus sin t minus into plus is minus cos of t so this is the final required solution required solution of the given function using convolution theorem.